Para sa mga kukuha ng civil service exam in August at para sa mga kukuha ng college entrance exam, sana makatulong to. Okay, identifying errors. Direction. Choose the letter of the underlined part in the sentence that contains an error. If you think there's no error, choose E. Sentence number one. Somebody close to the family have donated a big amount for the hospital expenses. Okay, so ang mga naka-underline pong word ay letter A, close, letter B, have, letter C, a big, letter D, 4D, and letter E, no error. Now, what's the correct answer? The correct answer is letter B. Now, bakit po B? Because the subject pronoun, somebody, is a singular subject. No? And a singular subject requires a singular verb or irregular verb. So, yung have po ay dapat has. Now, ano-ano pa po ba yung mga pronouns na singular? No? So, the following pronouns are singular. Everybody, everyone, everything, somebody, someone, nobody, another, anybody, anyone, anything, each, either, one, and no one. No? So, to name a few. So, kapag nakita nyo po ito, mga pronouns na ito, ito po ay mga singular pronouns. So, it requires a singular verb. Number two, the news about the Kalatagan earthquake stand the local community. So, ano po yung mga words or phrases na naka-underline? Letter A, the news. Letter B, about the. Letter C, stand. Letter D, local community. Or letter E, no error. So, what's the correct answer? The correct answer is letter C. No? Bakit po letter C? Kasi ang subject po dito ay yung news which is a singular noun. No? It is plural in form kasi may S po, but it is singular in meaning. No? And therefore, stand should be stands. No? Kailangan po singular yung ating verb, kaya dapat may S. So, ano pa po ba yung mga words na or nouns na plural in form but singular in meaning? No? So, we have news, politics, mathematics, physics, economics, ethics, to name a few. No? So these are all uh, singular nouns and they require singular verbs. Okay? Number three, neither the lawmakers nor the governor support the legislation that aims to protect the mangroves. So ano po yung mga words or phrases na naka-underline? We have letter A, the lawmakers. Letter B, nor the governor. Letter C, support. Letter D, that aims or letter E, no error. So, ano po ang tamang sagot? The correct answer is letter C. No? Bakit po mali ang support? Ano po ba ang rule na nag apply dito? When the compound subject contains both a singular and a plural noun, joined by neither and nor, the verb agrees with the part of the subject that is closer the verb. So, ganito po yun, ano? Uh, yun po ang ating uh, compound subject ay lawmakers at saka governor. No? Now, pinagdudugtong po sila ng neither saka nor. So, kapag ka po ganun, uh, the subject nearer the verb, yun po ang masusunod. Since our uh, subject is governor, which is singular, then dapat po ang verb natin ay singular din. So, dapat, this should be supports. Okay. So, ganun lang po kung sino po ang malapit. Now, supposing nagkapalit po yung A and B, no? Yung pong uh, A ay governor at yung B ay lawmakers. So, yung pong verb na support ay magiging tama. Bakit po? Kasi po, yung lawmakers ay plural. Siya na po yung naging malapit doon sa verb natin. So, tatandaan nyo lang po kung sino po ang malapit na subject sa verb, yun po ang susundin. Number four, his father as well as his uncle are retiring at the end of this year. So the underlined uh, words or phrase are letter A as well as letter B, R, letter C, retiring, letter D, end of this year, letter E, no error. So ano ang tamang sagot? Ano ang mali dito? The correct answer is letter B. R is wrong. No? Bakit po mali ang R? 
because an intervening word or phrase doesn't change the verb agreement, no? So ano po ibig sabihin ng intervening word or phrase? Yung pong intervening word or phrase ay yun po yung mga salita or lupo ng mga salita na pumapagit na sa subject natin at saka sa verb, no? So in this case, the intervening phrase is as well as his uncle, no? Napapagitnaan po siya ng ating subject na father, his father, at saka ng are. So hindi po yan kasali sa subject, no? Ang subject lang po natin ay yung father. So the correct verb should be is, no? Hindi po dapat plural, dapat singular. Okay? Now, ito pa po yung mga examples ng intervening word or phrase, no? We have like, with, plus, including, accompanied by, along with, as well as, in addition to, one of, together with. Now, ito po ay... Uh, Kadalasan talagang isinisingit sa mga sentences para po kayo ay lituhin, no? Para magmukhang plural yung inyong subjects. So, wag po kayo magpapalito. Yan po ang mga intervening uh, phrase or word. Number five, the number of ongoing projects in the Bicol and Cordillera regions have increased in recent years. So, ang underlined words po natin ay letter A, the number... Letter B, ongoing projects. Letter C, Bicol and Cordillera regions. Letter D, have increased. And letter E, no error. So ano po ang tamang sagot? The correct answer is letter D. Bakit po letter D? Simple lang po ang rule dito. The number is singular while a number is plural okay so it should be has number six nobody among the candidates possess the charismatic appeal of the previous winners so mga naka underline words po or phrases i letter a nobody among the candidates letter b possess letter c Appeal of, letter D, previous winners, and letter E, no error. So what's the correct answer? The correct answer, of course, is letter B. Bakit po letter B? Uh, if you remember, in number one, yung pong somebody, kasama po ang nobody sa mga singular pronouns na binanggit natin. No? So a singular pronoun, nobody, requires... A singular verb so it should be possesses no okay Ayan po. number seven almost two-thirds of the province are underwater after the downpour that lasted until midnight so yung mga naka underline the words po natin letter a almost two-thirds letter b are underwater Letter C, the downpour. Letter D, until midnight. And letter E, no error. So, ano po ang tamang sagot? Ang mali po dito ay letter B, or underwater. Bakit po? Dapat po ito ay is. Dapat singular. Now, ano po ang rule na nag apply Words of phrases that express periods of time fractions, weights, measurements, and amounts of money are usually regarded as singular. So ano pa po yung mga example nito? So pag nakita po kayo, for example, ng 3 hours, dapat is, no? 3 hours is. 3 fourths of the job is. 5 dollars seems. 40 pounds is. Yan, lahat po yan singular pagka ginamit po sa sentence. Okay? Number eight, the committee is expected to submit the individual reports because of differences in opinion. Now, ano po yung mga naka-underlined words natin or phrases? Letter A, we have is expected. Letter B, individual reports. Letter C, 
differences and letter D, no error. So what is the correct answer? The correct answer here is letter A. Now, why is is expected my, uh, wrong? No, Because this should be R. Bakit po? Because the subject committee is a collective noun. And a collective noun takes a singular verb when the group is regarded as a unit and a plural verb when the individuals of the group are regarded separately. So ano po ibig sabihin nun? Yung pong subject natin dito na committee does not act as a unit, no? Kanya-kanya po sila because of the phrase to submit their individual reports, no? Now, if the sentence goes like this, no? The committee... Okay. Blank po muna natin to. Blank expected... to appoint a new chairman now ano po dapat ang verb dito your guess is as good as mine it should be is bakit po kasi po yung pag-appoint ng new chairman ay isang act lang po no isang act lang po ng committee so we should take a singular verb. Now, by the way, ano pa po ba yung mga collective noun? No? Ito po yung mga example. We have assembly, company, crew, crowd, family, flock, jury, team, herd, squad, team, to name a few. Okay? Number nine. Do everybody believe and support the legislation on climate change? Now, ano po yung ating mga underlined words? We have do, letter A. Letter B, believe. Letter C, support. Letter D, on climate change. And letter E, no error. So, ano po ang tamang sagot? The correct answer is letter A. Now, bakit po mali ang A? Well, because the subject, everybody, just like in number one, is a singular pronoun. No? And a singular pronoun requires a singular verb. So instead of do, dapat po ito ay does. Okay? Now, another common mistake po, no ng iba ay yung paglalagay ng s sa verb after uh, does no so mali po na sabihin na does everybody believes and supports no mali po yon so we say the sea walk the sea play The seed sing. So, ganyan po, no? Huwag niyong lalagyan ng S after the verb does. Number 10. Either Sue or some of her classmates is willing to go to the party. So, the underlined words or phrase I, letter A, either, letter B of her classmates, letter C is willing Letter D to the party, and letter E, no error. So, ano po ang tamang sagot? The correct answer is letter C. Now, why is uh, is willing uh, wrong? No. Well, we have uh, multiple subjects, so, and some of her classmates joined by either and or. Hindi po ba sabi natin uh, the verb or the subject neither sa verb must agree. At ang subject po natin na some of our classmates ay plural. Therefore, the verb must be plural. So instead of is, dapat po ito ay are. Okay? Okay.